I get you something? Mm. I'm really thirsty. <gasps> oh. Uh, kicked. He's just saying hi. She. Go back to sleep. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just surfing. I've seen a little bit. Morning. Hey. What time is it? 2.30. Up late? Yeah. Jason and I were playing a little network shoot them off. Yeah, I noticed you disabled a bunch of the extensions to enhance your rate of fire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? What did I do? Oh, you erased them off the hard drive. I did? You did. I didn't. You did. How'd I do that? You did it. Do you have backups? I do. Derek, I've shown you how to disable the extension safely. I know, I forgot, I just... No, 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 no. You choose not to remember, and that is not the same thing. Oh, wait, do we sound married? No, I sound like your mother. And frankly, I'm getting a little tired of it. Oh, by the way, you still owe me for the firewall software. I do, I haven't paid you back for that yet. No? <sighs> okay, I will, I promise. As soon as we sell some t-shirts and collect on some banners. Derek Barnes? Yeah? Uh, demon or something wants to either kill my wife, take our child, I don't know, but we need your help. Okay. Get you. Read some of the emails we get right. Mm -hmm. 
I'm telling you, some of these people are one can short of a six-pack. I know. Like them, maybe? And how did these people find us? I mean, it's not like we post our address and phone number on a website. So Buddy didn't mention me. Who was Buddy? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have a really bad case of mommy right now. Among other things. He's a surfer. Um, he travels a lot. I'm just, I'm house-sitting. No, see, Ted found your website. And, um, and I thought that I knew you, or that I knew something, something about you, something, something about the house. Can you help us or not? Look, guys, I'm, I, I'm not a ghostbuster, okay? My partners and I, we just, we document stuff, we put it out on the site. I... You've got connections, right? To priests or exorcists or whatever? Darren? Derek. Derek? Derek, Derek. Okay. Now, I'm really scared, okay, because we don't have any place else to go. And um, Ted really thinks that you can help. Ted believes in you. And I believe in Ted. And maybe you could believe in us. And you can document our little problem or whatever it is that you do and you know, prove that it's really happening. And then you can hook us up with a witch doctor who can get rid of our, you know, demon or whatever it is because, because we have a baby on the way. Okay? I just put a few more locks in. Doesn't help much. I keep getting out. Like Houdini. Things get busy a little after 3 a.m. Set your watch by it. Or a cuckoo clock. Sorry, this takes a little bit. No problem. All right, here we go. Um, and, uh, see. Well, sometimes I hum. I hum. I don't know that I'm humming. Yeah, she never used to hum before. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the demon or whatever. Uh -huh. I think that he really likes his music. Oh, and um. D, they're nuts. I'm bored. Can we go? Yeah. Shut up. Uh, she bought these off the internet. Maxed out two credit cards. Oh, what, what the demon makes you shop or something? Well, I've never bought classical before. And I always have music just running through my head, like, all the time, right? Do you ever think about returning them? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, last week, but, um, Vicky stabbed me with a steak knife. I, I don't, I don't remember doing that. That's, uh, safer just to pay the interest. But, mm, this is all for the, for the baby here, because I wanted him to be in the, the same room as, as us. Her. Her, him. Mm -hmm. Country bunny action. My well, mamas used to read that to me back when I was small. See them dancing and whatnot. It was cute. She did, man. Anyway. And if he's a boy, we're gonna call him Brian. But if it's a girl, she's gonna be Emily. Stop, honey. Humming. Did you get that? Let's go. So, I mean, I've shown you guys the tapes, the CDs, the garage.
Please just come out of it. Vicky. Come on. Hello? Hey, are you busy? <laughs> yes. Look, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a situation here. I'm in a beach chair here. <sighs> it's really busy. I'm putting together my paper for New York. What do you want? Help. I can't do it. No, wait, Chloe, listen to mm, me. I'm not hunting bullies and ghosties today, Derek. I've got three weeks before the site conference, and I need to get this done. It's important. No, Chloe. I've got a woman who is eight months pregnant and a husband that believes she's possessed by a demon. <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful time. Have fun. No, Chloe, wait. What? I think she might be mentally ill, and I think he might be, too. What are you saying? They need help. Look, I don't know who else to call. Chloe, I'm worried they're gonna hurt the baby. Hey, Vicky. My name's Chloe. How are you feeling? Uh, I, I, I don't know. So, what, she's, she's psychic or something? Not exactly. She's a shriek, isn't she? She's a consultant. She shrink. Answer me. Yes. We're not crazy. Look, nobody's saying my mother died in a mental home. Doctors killed her with drugs. And I'm not putting anything through something. Dead, dead, dead. Not. Listen. Look, we're the good guys, okay? And we believe you're in trouble. And we brought Chloe down here to help calm things down. And that's what she's gonna do. One condition. You guys stay here all night tonight and see what happens. You record it and you'll see we're not making this up. We're not crazy. It happens. Expectant mothers are a hormone factor in the middle of a five alarm fire. Sometimes the maternal instinct gets mutated. Into what? In this case, this. Well, what about him? Well, Lee Adu, shared delusion between two people. I'm going to call social services, but it might take a while for them to intervene. Can I make a suggestion here? Hey, Jason and I are staying all night. Good. Ted wants us to get it on tape, whatever it is. I... There's a risk here. They might try to prove their delusion by doing something dangerous. I want you to call for help the minute you see things going south. Cops, paramedics, get them in here fast, OK? Yeah, of course. OK, cool. These things have been seen for years. They're here. It's a fact. That's probably what I know about. How'd you get into this? Into what? This line of work. Uh, I sort of fell into it. Um, my brother was always interested in it, and I picked up where he left off. He gave it up. He died. Sorry to hear that. <clears throat> How about you? <sighs> oh, man, I'm just in this for the health care benefits. <laughs> oh, my God. She's never had any lessons. Husband says the only thing she knows how to play is a kazoo. 
It's hard to believe. We had a woman once about 10 years ago at the university. She could play anything by ear. Is she playing something? I mean, what is that? Is that Bach, Chopin? It's a pastiche. A what? It's bits and pieces of almost every bit of classical music written during the last 300 years. Mozart, Bach, Beethoven, Brahms, Sibelius, Strauss, you name it, it's in there. There's a couple I don't recognize, though. Like that, what is that? I don't know. Oh, that bit there, that's Mozart's Sonata in C for two pianos. And? It's written for four hands, and that's what I'm hearing. What do you mean? I mean, I'm hearing four hands, and I'm only seeing two playing. How'd you fake this? I didn't. Derek? Yeah? I think you should see this. Okay, so what am I looking at? Just watch this, okay? Watch. <laughs> okay, watch again, okay? Closely, okay? okay? All right? The baby blocks are jumbled. And now, they're rearranged. I'm here, all right? Jason's taping. Vicky's over here and Ted's back here somebody. But nobody touched those blocks. All right, so what does it mean? We made contact. With what? Delaney Park. The humming demon wants a picnic? <laughs> it's not a park. Look, we searched it on the web and we got it right away. What? Delaney Park? is a person. Actually, I think that she's a ghost. And I think that she's haunting Ted and Vicky. Yesterday, you thought this was mental illness. And this changed my mind. You have to see the recital. Show her the recital. Yeah. Derek, you could be fueling their delusions here. This is dangerous. OK. Can you keep an eye on them while Jason and I work this whole thing out? Yeah. Hey. Excuse me, sir. Uh, we're doing an investigation on Delaney Park. We wanted to know if you had any views on her disappearance or murder. Yeah, I'd rather not say. Do you have any connection with the case at all? Yeah, I'd rather not say. OK. Uh, yeah, I'd rather not say. OK, I got you. I had to. Um... I'm sorry, sorry. He's just, who do you think would be your prime suspect? The boyfriend, Max D'Angelo. Uh -huh. Until we find a body, it's all just talk, you know? What station are you guys with? Excuse me, you Claudia? Wow, so you guys, did you go to school together, or? If she was running away, she would have told me. Max. Max. Max D'Angelo. I don't want to say anything bad, but. Yeah, that. Three things going on. He used to work at this convenience store out on Cooper Road. Blaney was always out there. Really? Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah. What would they do out there? Oh, you know. <laughs> Everybody thinks that he had something to do with it. So it just looks like it. Yeah, I think that's him. Hey, Max. My name's Jason, man. Jason, this is my boy Derek. How you doing, Derek? Man? Nice yeah, to nice to meet you, too, man. How you doing? No, no, you know, if uh, this helps get some publicity for Delaney, I'm okay with it, yeah. You know, I, uh, I was the last one to see her. That's what they tell me, but I loved her. Um, it's just, you know, personal stuff. Guy, girl, private stuff, you know, I don't really want to talk about yeah, that. She's not, she's not dead. You know, things, she's still out there, you know, with her spirit and her sense of adventure. I guess I see her all the time. You know, in here. You know, uh, the mom never quite had me over for dinner, no. Not really. <laughs> You guys weren't exactly on speaking terms, huh? You were not on speaking terms, no, sir. <laughs> So many of them. There were hundreds. 
walking and looking for weeks. They had dogs and they never found anything. Every time there's a knock at the door, I always think it's the lady. And then I think, did someone come to tell me that they found her? I'm sorry. I wish we had good news. Oh, I miss her music. You know, she was being considered by Juilliard. The admissions people have been great. Every three months, they send me a card asking me to approve an audition time. It has two boxes. Postponed or withdrawn. I don't know which one to check. Look, ma'am, we're really sorry. I mean, we don't even have to do yes. this. This is too much for you. We can just go. My baby's gone. I... My baby. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's okay. What's up? We have something we have to ask you. No, I'm sorry. I don't know this girl. I've never seen her before in my life. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know her. Oh. I don't know. I think I think I did something to her. I think I did something really bad. What, honey? What did I you do? Know. I think I hurt her. I can't remember. He won't marry me. And I want somebody to talk to. Did you tell Delaney this? No. She has her own problem. She wants to go. I want to leave, you know? Just get away, leave town. And I want him to come with me. But he won't. What's his name? Dick. <laughs> 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 hey, do you want to relax and uh, kill a few brain cells? The um, lighter is in the glove compartment. Can't. What, are you pregnant or something? Sorry. I'm supposed to uh, take care of it. <laughs> well, how do you feel about that? Having this baby feels like the only right thing I've ever done in my life. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just... Do you have kids? No. But I want to... Actually, what I want right now is for Ted to get off his ass and pop the question. You know, sometimes I think the guys should be kept in a box until they're, like, 30, fed through a hole. And then what? And then the hole should be plugged! <laughs> <laughs> She needs help, but I don't know what to do. Wow. Nice house. 
try growing up in it. Oh. You gonna be okay? I'll live. Okay. So, um, I guess I'll see you around, all right? Yeah, maybe. Thanks for the ride. Hey, my name is Vicki Elgard. So if you ever need anything, I'm in the book. Hey, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay, I promise. Go get married, Vicki Elgard. Have a good life. I'll be fine. Bye. 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 I knew something bad was gonna happen. I knew it. And I drove away. I knew that it was a bad thing. Okay, Vicky, shh. I, I want you to take a deep breath, all right? Deep breath and relax. You're in a safe place here. Nothing can hurt you. But why is this happening to Vicky? Because I think that they made a bond, okay? Vicky offered to help, and Delaney's returned to take her up on that offer. But if she wants help, why the gasoline? Well, why is she driving my wife out of her mind? She's trying to make herself understood, okay? Look, Delaney's calling long distance, and I think that the messages are getting garbled. She's getting better at it. She gave us her name. <laughs> Heartbeat isn't right. It keeps getting slower. And they want to take the baby, try to salvage something. Mr. Newton, the doctor needs you to sign a consent for the surgery. They got Max. Isn't that... She was playing that. On the piano. She's telling us where to look. Okay. Um, the closest one is in Daytona. No, 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 no. There's one out on, um, it's, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... He used to work at this convenience store out on Cooper Road. Cooper Road. That's it. She's there. Whoa, what happened to this place, man? A hurricane took it out like six months ago. Come on. So what are we looking for?
going down there? Yep. Just be careful, all right? Yeah. See anything? Sludge pit. Or run off oil, stuff like that. I can't find my light. Oh, here you go. Heads up. All right, send it down. You got it? Yeah. Look. What is it? Looks like claw marks. Like someone tried to get out of here. Send me the camera down. Something down there? I don't know. I'll be right back. Okay. Everything's gonna be okay. I promise. not doing well. well. What's the matter? They don't know. She's just fading. Ted's barely hanging on. How's the baby? It's okay. Emily. We're at 3.13 a.m. What? 3.13. Delaney, down to the minute. I don't understand now. I mean, why isn't Vicky getting any better? I mean, we did everything we had to do. Maybe we were just too late. She's trying to get out. What? She had been beaten. Her skull was almost crushed in. She was alive when Max put it down there. There were scratch marks, and... She couldn't get out. Park. 
I just wanted to come by and say that. Oh. I don't know how to thank you. I had help. Listen, I remember you um, saying something about how you miss Delaney's music and, and, and how you missed her playing. And Well, I have a friend who plays piano, and well, she used to play piano, and I was just thinking that they had the same energy, you know? And maybe if you wanted to hear a little bit of it, it, it might... That would be nice. I was in Delaney's room. I haven't touched it since the night she disappeared. I think it might be okay to put some of her things away now. all these. What is this one for? Regional competition. She never truly understood how good she was. 313. What? Oh, uh, no, it's, it's nothing. A friend of mine, they, uh, they just had a baby. So... <laughs> You. You killed your own daughter. You murdered her with her own trophy. <gasps> Why would you do something like that? You don't know. You don't know. Why? Because she was pregnant? She didn't want her life. Her music. She was... She had such a gift. And she didn't care. I tried to make her understand, but she was so determined to throw everything away. It was an accident. I didn't mean... I was just tr trying to hide my daughter. I, I knew that place. I, I had caught them there together. So... I put her in the ground. She was alive when you put her in there. Did you know that? She tried to get out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What have I done? Oh, oh my baby. Oh. We should go now. How did you know? I made a connection. She would have liked you. You're very sweet.
mommy and baby are doing fine. And so is daddy. Thank you, Derek, um, for everything. Thank you for little Emily. And for Delaney, too.